Hello guys, in this video I want to get back to basics a little and talk about string functions, both PHP functions and Laravel helpers. There are a lot of them, but in this video I will list some of the functions, more popular ones or even less popular ones, grouped by some behavior. So let's do a quick rundown of more than 40 string functions for PHP and Laravel. So first group of function is uppercase and lowercase letters. So for example, if you have a string, you can do uppercase first and the result will be John with the first letter. Uppercase, then you can do lowercase first, then you can do string to lower, string to upper, and then you can do uppercase words. And the result of that is this. So I will put that on GitHub so you can play around. But basically, these are the functions, the PHP functions that you can use for uppercase and lowercase letters. And then there are Laravel helpers. So there's STR class in Laravel, which you need to add here. Illuminate support STR, and then it offers these things. So you can change the case to camel case, to snake case, which is with underscore. Then there's kebab case. You can read about it, like Google about it, which is basically dash case. And then you can also perform the slug from your title. Usually it is used for SEO purposes. The result will be something like this. And again, visually, those are here in the page. Next group of functions of helpers is about trimming and doing substring. So if you have some string with spaces, you can do trim, basically will remove the spaces from the beginning and the end, but you can also do left trim, L trim, and right trim, R trim. So that would remove the spaces only from the beginning or from the end. Also in that group, I added substrings. So there's a substring, for example, you have this string and you need the substring of that starting with the character one. And by remember characters are from zero, like in arrays. So offset one and length four, the result will be with. Then there's also substring replace. So you can replace some string with another string. And that is often used in arrays from what I've seen. So replace string with some other string in a lot of strings. And also there's substring count. So how many times this string is within that string. So in this case, result is two times. And within that group, there are a few Laravel helpers that can help you. What I like is add some prefix or one characters to the beginning if it isn't present. If it is already present, it won't be added. And similar to the finish. So you can add slash to the end and the result will be this. So on the page, again, all of those results are mentioned here. Next group, let's do it a bit quicker because you can Google it all and find it all in the PHP documentation. I will just bring the examples. So if you need to find out whether some string contains another string, there are a lot of PHP functions around it. Just general contains or not contains. And remember, this is case sensitive. So in this case, result will be false. Then there's also starts with or ends with. And in both those cases, result will be true. Then there's string string or string i string, which is case insensitive. This will return not the boolean, but the part where this starts. So for example, this is not found, but in this case, a is found and everything will be returned from the position that is found till the end of the string. So result will be ABC. Then there's position. What if you want to know the position of the string where that substring is present? So in this case, result will be two. Remember again, it starts from zero. Then there's case insensitive, same thing. Then str r pause. So reverse position, which means the last occurrence of that letter. So as you can see, letter C is here and here, and the last occurrence would be returned, which is result five. And also there's reverse case insensitive position. So not very readable, the function name, but it works. And also a few Laravel helpers on top, you can find out similar to string contains, contains all, so you can pass the array if all of those strings are present and also starts with any of those and ends with any of those in the array. Group number four is really small one, just length of the string. And there are two functions from PHP, just basically string length, which will just give the number of 11, which is like four plus space plus six, which is 11. And then did you know there's a string word count? So in this case, there are two words and the result will be two. Let's move on. The next group 
is padding and masking basically adding some particular pattern to the beginning or to the end or somewhere else typically i've seen that used this for example example for invoice numbers where you need to prefix the invoice number so the full invoice number should be like seven characters for example and you need to add zeros at the very beginning so this is how you can do that str pad the original string what would be the length of the final string then what to pad with the symbol it could be like stars for example or zero and then where to pad left or right and then laravel adds a few helpers to make it shorter so there's pad left pad right or pad both so in pad right the zeros would be added at the end and then pad both for example with asterisks and this would be the result it would add those symbols on both sides until the actual length is seven and finally from laravel str mask which was introduced pretty recently in eight point something version i don't remember exactly you can google it up you can replace all the characters of the string since this index with any characters you want so in this case from index four which is this one everything will be replaced all the characters with asterisk and there's also possibility to have length with minus so where to start where to finish and the finish may be negative in this case for example for credit card numbers you can replace all of those with asterisk and show only last four digits and then two groups to go random php functions and random laravel functions which didn't fit in any of those groups so number formatting is used mostly for money so for example if you have some number which doesn't contain the cents the decimal numbers so if you want to still show dot zero zero this is the function to use so you can override the decimal separator and the thousand separator as well then as printf this is often used instead of concatenating the string so for example if you want to have some number dot variable with string dot variable this is a personal preference some people prefer to do as printf then define the variables with formatting for example this is a digit and this is a string and there are many more operators available so again look it up in the documentation and then you replace all of those percentage something with values just listed one by one and the result will be some number one two three with string something next did you know that you don't need any external csv library to get the contents of the csv file there are a few functions related to file get csv i think it's called f get csv but basically if you have the string from csv one row this string get csv will parse that comma separated file and transform that into the array so comma 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 and the result are three elements of the array next string reverse not sure where you'd use it totally random but it exists so the result will be just this in reverse from right to left then two functions that are hard to comment quickly because they contain algorithms to compare the strings so you need to read it in the documentation what is levenstein difference so if you have really similar strings for example if someone made a typo on your website in the search or something you may compare it to a similar existing string and find the best match to suggest a different string so in this case result is two the difference levenstein difference and also there is a similar function using another algorithm similar text which returns result six which is as i understand the amount of characters that are the same and also there's percentage somehow calculated again i'm not sure because i haven't worked with that function personally returns 85 percent similar text so you can use those again read in the documentation what algorithms are behind those and finally random laravel helpers so you can transform the text from singular to plural or from plural to singular only in english language but it also works with irregular words like person it results to people and then children results to child and laravel uses it internally to transform the models so the model name is usually singular like child but the database table would be plural like children so laravel use that internally and also some random helpers to generate random strings for random passwords or random tokens you can do str random with the length that you want and it would just generate something like this and then there's also uuid that would generate the unique identifier really popular not only in laravel but generally all over the web so there's a helper for that in laravel so what do you think 
Have you found anything new to you or did you know all of those functions? Or maybe I've missed something interesting? Then shoot in the comments below and add to the list. Also subscribe to the channel and also you can subscribe to my premium content at laravaldaily.teachable.com. I have currently 25 courses and planning to shoot one course per month in 2022. So to get all of that, the most convenient and the cheapest way probably is to get to yearly membership for $99 per year plus taxes if that applies to you. So for that you will get all the current courses and everything I will release a year ahead. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.